I'm going to demo PowerPoint Presenter Coach and it's free as part of the web version of PowerPoint and it's out today. I click on Slideshow and I'm going to click Rehearse with Coach right here. Now PowerPoint's going to go into a mode where it listens to me present and gives me feedback. So here we go. Welcome to Presenter Coach. As you rehearse, you'll get feedback. I'm going to start rehearsing. Now this little button here indicates it's listening to me talk. I'm going to go to the next slide and I'm going to try to talk really fast to get the speedometer to come up. There are five planets. There's Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. There's a bunch of planets out there. And if I can talk really fast, it should pop up a little prompt. And there we go. My pacing. Try speaking a bit slower. Okay. We'll go to the next slide. Presenter Coach also listens for filler words. So here we go. There was a um, flyby of Mars on a... Uh, and there we go. It pops up. Try not to use too many fillers. Okay. I'm going to go and talk about the next one. And the next one is listening for inclusive language. Here's an example. Hey, you guys. Did you know that the Earth... Oh, look at that. Sensitive phrases. This might be offensive and non-inclusive in some cases. Reading from slides is very common for students and for adults, so PowerPoint can listen and see if I'm reading from the slide. So here I go. When the satellite approached Jupiter, it discovered a few rings around Jupiter, as well as volcanic activity. Listen to this. Originality. Try to avoid reading the slides. Summarize your key points. So those are the four techniques it was listening for, and I'm going to hit escape to end my presentation. Now when I'm done, it gives me a nice rehearsal report. It gives me a pacing and I can see how many words per minute. That's where I was reading really fast right there. That spike. Originality. Don't read from the slides. And it tells me which slides I was reading from. Was I using filler words? I used the word, um, and I used some non-inclusive phrases. Sensitivity. Consider avoiding these terms or phrases. You guys could just be you instead. So an educator could actually make an assignment to have a student practice their presentation at home and take a screenshot of this report. I uh, do a little screenshot here and say, I'd like you to screenshot that report and pop it into your assignment to prove that you were rehearsing. And I could choose to rehearse again and start over. So that is a quick tour of Presenter Coach, which is free and part of PowerPoint for the web.